Hey, what's up, guys? It's Justin with Diamond King Baseball Training. Uh, back at you again today. Wanted to go over um, something that I think a lot of people miss. Um, a lot of people, you know, you want, as a baseball player, you want a stronger arm. How do you think you can get a stronger arm? Is it is it really going to the gym and, and performing, you know, workouts, whether it be, you know, squatting, deadlifts, bench press, whatever the case. Is that really going to make you throw harder? I don't really think so. Um, being someone who <clears throat> I played baseball all my life, um, once I got, I'd say, 15, 16, you know, 17 years old, I really started trying to go to the gym more, and I enjoyed the gym, and I, I was getting bigger, I was getting stronger, um, and over that time period, I was throwing the ball harder, but it's not because of lifting weights. So it's, I don't want to say don't lift weights because like as a pitcher, say you can get your legs 10 times stronger than they are now. Obviously, if you can learn to leverage that strength into pushing off the rubber, exploding to the plate, all those great things, you're going to throw the ball harder. But for the purpose of this video and truly trying to develop your arm strength you need to get on a throwing program and what I mean by that it's long tossing so I've done throwing programs in the past you know you start at 30 feet for two minutes then 60 feet then 90 feet then 120 and you just keep increasing it by 30 feet and you're throwing at those distances for time. <clears throat> the reason being is that over time you're gonna condition your arm because you're throwing for time and you're gonna make your arm stronger because you're trying to max out that distance. Now you have to listen to your body when you're doing these because if your shoulder is bothering you, if your elbow is bothering you, forearm, you know, whatever the case is, if something's hurting when you're throwing, you need to learn that like you need to just quit or back off a little bit um, you don't want to keep pushing through any kind of arm pain that's gonna cause you to have an injury it's no fun hurting your arm and not being able to throw I've been there I was nine years old almost blew out my elbow <clears throat> pretty much had to stop pitching and trying to throw max effort for at least like a year and it was not fun. I mean, I, I wanted to be out there, which I was only nine. But, I mean, I still did, you know, Little League and uh, played a little travel ball and all that stuff as a nine-year-old. And I was very limited. I couldn't play third base. I couldn't play shortstop. I couldn't pitch. I was stuck at first. And it just wasn't any fun. So, when you're doing these things, listen to your body. Um, there's a difference between your arm being a little sore and you actually are pushing close to an injury um, and that's just something you're gonna have to kinda learn over time but back to these throwing programs so <clears throat> I'm gonna get a video up later on of me actually trying to perform this for you um, just so you can try to see it but I'm a big advocate of throwing program long tossing that's how you gain arm strength if you can throw the ball further then what do you think that means? You're, you're throwing it harder. So when you're doing these long tosses, I would say once you get, depending on your age and how strong of an arm it is, I would say once you get to like 180 feet or 200 feet, like for a person like me, I'm trying to put a good bit of arc on it. So I'm not throwing it on a line, I'm getting it up in the air. And you're getting, you know, you're trying to create that backspin that's going to make it carry a little more. <clears throat> and then over time, you keep on doing it and doing it and you reach that max distance and you just, you're chunking it as hard as you can and you're trying to throw it high. And then once you reach that max distance for say two or three minutes, however long you're trying to do it, you want to start working it back in. Now, what I always loved because you're really trying to stretch out that arm when you're throwing your max distance and you're throwing it high, you don't want to carry that over into a game. If you're playing third base, 
if you throw one high like that, you're going to park it out in the parking lot. Like you're going to crack somebody's windshield. You're going to be in trouble. So when you're bringing it back in, what I always like to do, if say my max distance was like 300 feet, then we would bring it back in to say 200. And then I'm really trying to put it on a line to whoever I'm throwing with. And then we're going to bring it into like 150. And I'm definitely putting it on a line then. And then we bring it into about 90 feet after that. And you're just popping it in there. Because 90 feet is the base path, obviously. And so we would literally be sitting there just zooming them back and forth. And your arm feels great. And then you carry that over. Now when you're doing these programs, I'm a big advocate, especially in the off season. Um, after you throw you need to go and run. You need to get you about a mile run. That's going to get that's going to be great for your conditioning. It's going to be great for your mind and it's just going to get that blood flow going through um, and it's going to help you the next day. You're not going to be quite as sore. Um, <clears throat> I also recommend going ahead and icing your elbow or shoulder or both after doing these just for a precautionary thing. You do not want to injure yourself. You want to push it, but you don't want to push too hard, especially with your arm. But um, that's, that's how you get your arm stronger. It's not by lifting weights. It's by going out and long tossing. If you talk to a lot of big league pitchers, I guarantee you they have some type of long toss program or some kind of a routine like that that they do. I do not recommend weighted balls. Those will blow out your elbow too. I know multiple guys that have had arm injuries because they decided that I'm going to go throw a heavier baseball over time and it's going to make my arm stronger. It's, it might make it stronger, but it's too much tension on that elbow. It's too much on your shoulder. It's too much. So I'm going to put together a long toss program and probably put it on my website. Um, and I'll probably try to like link it into uh, my Instagram page for you guys. I'm going to be just giving it away because I, I really, truly believe in these. They're great. And it's it's no secret to it. It's You're throwing a long distance and you're throwing over time. So y'all stay tuned. Um, once I get them posted up and kind of developed to where they look pretty good, um, I'll let you guys know. So y'all be looking out for that. And just keep working, guys. Keep working. Comment below. Let me know what you want to see. Um, don't forget, like my videos comment, subscribe, the whole shebang. I'm trying to make this thing big. I'm trying to help as many people as I can. So I need you guys. If you like what you see, let me know about it. All right. Y'all have a good day. Keep working.